We're skaters for the Chicago Outfit Roller Derby League. And we would like to say to any LGBT youth, or any other kids out there that are being picked on, bullied, or being made to feel so badly about themselves, that they feel like they'd rather not go on living than deal with the abuse they're going through. Please believe us when we say that it gets better. We know you're struggling. And we know it's really hard to believe that one day this crap will be behind you. But it will. Life got better for us. And it will get better for you. Whee! <laughs> Hey, Butch, you can't eat that. You know what? I ate all of it. Put it down, please, then. Quiet on the set. For a long time, people didn't really believe I was gay, and I had a lot of struggles with, like, I wasn't really sure how I felt about myself, and I didn't really know who I was. But over time, like, I love myself now, and I like being gay. Uh, okay. Let's, uh... What are you gonna ask me some questions? Ask me some questions. <laughs> What was high school like for you? Um, um, I don't, I feel like high school was okay. Um, I came out as being bisexual um, when I was a freshman in high school. And at that time it was like pretty cool to be gay. I've been in your shoes before. Um, there were many days where I didn't want to crawl out of bed in the morning and go to high school because I didn't want to be teased, I didn't want to be ostracized, or made to feel like I didn't belong. So, I'm transgendered, and, and, uh, I don't know, when I came out to my parents, I think it was 20, 21, and they disowned me. And I, um, I went through some really hard times where I didn't have, an, I didn't have my, enough money to eat or enough money to like, pay my bills. Um, I think what was hard for me was that the lives were very um, separate and secretive because I knew that if I came out it would be a huge ordeal and that I would probably get bullied. and. At the time, nobody was really doing that, and so I really didn't feel brave enough to do that. Basically, after I got out of high school, after I found people like me, even in high school, I kind of came to realize that I'm not all that weird, and there are a lot of people like, that, like me out there, and I have come to love myself, and the Chicago Outfit has been a huge part of that. I'm one of the non-gay members of the Chicago Outfit, and I still love them all very much. But I did have a hard time growing up in when I was in high school. I got teased on for being the tallest and strongest girl that any guy had ever seen. So numerous times I was often called a man and beat up on and pushed into lockers because they thought I could just handle it than any other person. So it was uh, very difficult growing up and trying to like the boys that beat you up at the same time, very confusing, but it gets better. Our parents' generation, you were either born that way, and that's the way it is, or you're not. So now where it's a little bit more accepted and a little more fluid and it's not a disease you're gonna die with or whatever anymore, there's room kind of, for people to figure it out on their own and not just have this stamp on them gay or straight or whatever, so. It doesn't really have to do with being gay, it just has to do with being okay with yourself. And it gets harder every single day that you don't accept yourself, but every single day that you decide to accept yourself, it gets better. Well, I was gonna talk about um, how I lost one of my very close friends when I came out. So basically what happened was I had this friend um, who we'll call Kate for the purposes of this. Um, and what happened was I came out um, on Facebook basically. Like I had already come out to a lot of my friends but she lived in New York. So I changed my, my orientation or interested in on Facebook to women. And after that, like the next time I 
yeah, went to Facebook after that. I was going to talk to her about this girl that I was dating. Um, and we weren't friends on Facebook anymore. And so I sent her a message because I thought it was, of course, some type of social media mishap. And um, I never got a response from her after that. And I was like, I'm going to go see mountains and be someplace beautiful. And I'll die there because that will be fine. Like, that'd be good. Like, I saw something I hadn't seen before. Nobody in my family's ever seen. I'll go see mountains, and I'll die, and then it's, like, awesome. And I came to Chicago, because a friend of mine was like, come stay in Chicago for a little bit. And I came here, and it just all started to happen for me, like, as soon as I got to Chicago. I think that, for, for me personally, and maybe this is true for people in my age range, but... Um, I really never introduced my parents to a woman until I met my partner, the um, woman I've been with for almost 10 years and I'm in love with. And when it got to that level of um, stature for me, um, then I felt like, you know what, if you don't embrace her, that is okay, but I'm going to move on. When I finally realized that being who I was was totally okay and that I have a family and friends and a derby family that loves me for exactly who I am however quirky that is it's perfect I'm a new person every day and it's okay because I can do that